candidates who are willing to get an admission in B. Ed. courses have to make sure that you are passing out this Jharkhand B. Ed. examination. So this is especially for the state of Jharkhand. So if you are willing to head over and get into this particular state, you have to cross this or qualify this particular Jharkhand B. Ed. examination. In order to pass or in order to get qualified in this exam, your preparation must be much more enhanced. So in order to enhance or to have a productive preparation, your preparation would consist of these two major things which are knowing the examination pattern and syllabus. Why? Because this examination pattern and syllabus will give you a good insight as to how examination is going to be like and will help you reach out how is the marking scheme of the exam is going to be. As well as the syllabus is going to give you a clear perspective as to how you can make your preparation much more easier. So if you want to access all of this information in one space, all you have to do is head over to our website examsoreprecioursnow.com. So with that note, I would welcome you all to Precious Now channel where we provide informative videos. So first, we will be heading off to Google and you have to be searching for Jharkhand B8 syllabus Precious Now. So as you search, you can see the first link itself is going to be from exams.freshers now. Give a click on this and this particular page would be opening up for you. Starting with the briefs as to what is the examination is like, you would be knowing about a brief perspective, which is the examination which be conducted on in multiple choice question basis with a total of 100 marks, one mark for every correct answer and 0.25 marks would be deducted for every wrong answer. So to give you an overview, the conducting body of the examination is Jharkhand Combined Entrance Competitive Examination Board and this is for B. Ed. courses only. Here you have the official websites where you can always cross check in case if you want to know about any of the latest information regarding this. So heading over to the examination pattern before we head forward I would like to request you all to please join our telegram channel for more updated information regarding entrance exams and make your preparation much easier with Freshers Now. Also subscribe to our channel Freshers Now so that you will be staying in alignment with us and never miss any of this entrance exam videos here. So, the examination pattern for each section to give you a clear idea and as to how the marking scheme also is going to be like. Language proficiency Hindi has 15 questions and language proficiency for English has 15 questions. Teaching aptitude 40 questions, reasoning ability 30 questions. So, a totality of 100 questions would be marked carrying 100 marks for all of this. Next off, you would be knowing about the syllabus. Now for syllabus, you have all of the different sections and also the topics which are given here. Starting off with language proficiency. Language proficiency in the sense, you would be starting off from your basics or the fundamentals, which is knowing about grammar, vocabulary, what are the words and the meanings of words. So all of this comes under the basic concepts of you. So language itself would be having the combination of words and sentences and their meanings. Apart from this, the major concepts that you have to be focusing of in your preparation are comprehension, rearrangement of sentences, selecting suitable words for the blanks, then finding out the errors of the sentences, then finding out the equivalent meanings of the phrases, suitable words of, for the incomplete sentences, then sequencing grammar which includes synonyms, antonyms, idioms, phrases and tenses and further articles. Grammar part is everything, all of these comes under the grammar part which forms under the same umbrella. So you have to make sure that you are understanding and having a rearrangement of all of the topics which includes their subtopics as well. So language itself carries topics and subtopics subsequently. So next off we would be knowing about teaching aptitude section. For teaching aptitude you would be starting off with the interpersonal skills, communicative skills, what are the different techniques and tips that are used for teaching methodologies and what are the different patterns that a teacher is using in order to communicate with the students or a child. So all of these are the fundamental topics that you have to be well known of. Other than that you would be knowing on the attitude towards the education, children and 
teaching profession, interest in teaching, leadership qualities and group management, emotional and social adjustments, interpersonal skills consisting of general awareness, what are the different consequences and other types of contemporary issues which are prevailing in school education basis. So all of this comes under the teaching aptitude section. Next we have reasoning ability. For reasoning ability you have different topics like verbal, non-verbal reasoning, missing numbers, number sets, letter series, themes, jumbling analogy, odd one out, rearrangement of sentences, then statement and conclusion, syllogism, logical problems, establishing relationship, numerical abilities, etc. So all of this comes under the reasoning ability section. So we have covered all of the sections which are related to the examination. And if you have any other questions or any other queries regarding this, don't forget to place them in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well because you would be knowing well aware about these entrance exams for whichever preparation or for the entrance exam that you are doing for your preparation which be much more easier through us. So don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.